Okay, students, in this video, I am going to take you step by step through the basics of making a segment for the middle school pulse, okay? And in iMovie, because we do it uh, kind of differently. So first off, let's take a look at what I have here. I've organized a folder here. Now, I just called it iMovie Basics because this is what I'm about to teach you, but you would call it whatever it is. You're doing commercial two. You're doing a backstage report. You're doing uh, international news feed. Whatever you're doing, Here's where you've organized all the bits and pieces of your show. So in this case, um, I want to show you about putting a soundtrack in. So this one up here is the, the song that I've picked out. So I've got a soundtrack. I've got my background music. I got a little video here on butterflies. I have me talking to the camera. I have that video here. Let me just take a look at that and show it to you. All right, this is just me in the room there talking to the Milk camera. Milkweed butter. All right, doing my thing. All right, and then I've got a couple of photos here. So I got a photo of a monarch butterfly. Oh, it's nice and pretty. Now also remember, get good quality images. Look at how nice and clean this is. No little bits and pixels and stuff. I want high res images in your videos. Okay, so I have everything all organized and now I'm gonna go into iMovie. Okay, so we're just gonna start that up. It's loading up here. All right, so here's all my projects I'm working. I'm gonna to go to a new movie. Okay, and here's my new movie, and now I'm gonna drag all the pieces in. So I'm going to take all, I'm gonna take the me talking video. I'm gonna drag that down into here. All right, uh, remember to just use the zoom control if you need to get it looking longer so you have more control over what you have. Okay, so that's me talking, and now I'm just gonna turn up the volume on my computer so you can hear it's gonna come out my speakers and then back into my microphone, but you'll hear what's going on here. Hello, my name is Brad Flickinger, and this is my report. Okay, so first of all, that's a mistake because I shouldn't say my full name. So let me just, I'm just gonna edit that out. You see, I'm just dragging that front line there, and now I've edited to the front, okay? So I just grabbed a hold of that front line. Do you see how it changes to two little double arrows? Then you can, you can then uh, move that back and forth, okay? So I've got that change, okay. Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my report on the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly, okay, so or just, simply going monarch. Through here, and the first thing I'm realizing is my volume is not very loud. You want at least some of those waveforms down there to touch into yellow. So I'm gonna go up here to my volume control and I'm gonna to start to turn it up here. 132%, no, 152, 174, a little more, uh, 200, 214. Are we getting any in the yellows yet? 246. 283, uh, 373, okay, here we go. Our first one right here, this one peaked into the yellow right there. Now, if yours is too loud, you gotta turn it down. In my case, it was somehow, it was recorded way too softly, so I had to increase my volume by 325%. Butter. Okay. The monarch butterfly. So it looks like that's a mistake there too. The monarch butterfly, or simply monarch, is in the milkweed butter. Okay, so that's a mistake. From there to there is a mistake. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm going to um, option tap on that. I'm gonna split the clip there. I'm gonna go, now this is, you can see from the waveform, this is when I start talking. The monarch about, butterfly. I'm just gonna clip that. So I'm gonna chunk out. So now this is a bad piece here. So I'm just gonna press my delete key and I'm gonna delete that. So now butterfly. it goes from here. The monarch butterfly, or simply monarch, is a milkweed butterfly in the family of Nymphandiae, or common other, other common names depending. Okay, so now there's a mess up there too. Or common other. So I'm gonna cut right there in front of it, split the clip, and then I start to talk you here again. So I'm gonna split the clip, the highlighted piece right there. That's now, you can just pick whatever's highlighted, but I know that's the bad clip that I need. So I'm gonna delete that because I have a bad sentence in Nymph there. Nymphandia. Other common names depending on the region include milkweed, common tagger, wanderer, and black vein brown. It may be the most familiar butterfly in North America and is considered an iconic pollinator species. Its wings feature an easily okay. recognizable so far, so good. black, orange, and white pattern with a wingspan of 8.9 to 10.2 centimeters. It is a viceroy butterfly and it is similar in colors to other patterns. Mm -mm. Let me do that again. The viceroy butterfly is similar in color and pattern. Okay. This is where I... This is where I messed up that one there. I'm gonna actually hit M on my keyboard. That will leave a little mark behind, just a mark, just so I remember where it is. It is a viceroy butterfly, and it is similar in colors to other patterns. Mm -mm. Let me do that messed again. Messed up that sentence. The viceroy butterfly is similar in color and pattern. 
but is marked. Okay, now so one more time. Up again. The viceroy butterfly. Okay, so that's when I finally do it right, is right there. So again, I'm going to uh, split the clip there, go back to where my mark was. Um, oops. Split the clip there. This bad is me screwing up that sentence, so let me just get that done there. Okay, 10.2 centimeters. The viceroy butterfly is similar in color and pattern, but is markedly smaller and has extra black stripes across each wing. Thank you for watching my report on monarch butterflies. Okay, so I'm just going to trim a little bit off the end, just because it's got some dead air there. Let me get that highlighted. Oops. Okay, trim that out. Okay, so now I have my edited video. Do you see? Before we can add anything else, we have to get rid of all the bad parts. So all, all the little flub-ups, the mess-ups, and everything, they've all been deleted now. Now let's go back and now, oops, let me just move over here so we can see the beginning. And let's start adding some parts in here. So uh, I'm going to add the butterfly video. So I'm just going to drag that down, and I'm going to put it on top of me talking. Do you see it went on top? Now it's got music. The monarch butterfly. Okay, well, it's got all this music on it. So you take that top feed, whatever. We, okay, so just so you understand, the A roll is you talking. Anybody talking is the A roll. Whatever, whoever's looking at the camera, that's the A roll. B roll is everything else. So right now, this monarch butterfly um, uh, coming out of its little cocoon there is the B roll. And you don't need the volume on. So I'm just going to go here, go up here to uh, the volume levels and turn it down to zero because I don't need any of that B roll volume from my video. Is a milkweed butterfly. In the family of... Okay, and then it starts off a little... Okay, I don't need that, so I'm going to delete that out of there. And I really... I just want the butterfly... I'm really looking for just the butterfly coming out of its out of its little cocoon there. So I'm just going to cut that one, throw that one away there, move this all over again to the beginning. Okay, so it looks like I have... Let me just check this video here. Okay, the butterfly is is coming out of... thing, And then, look, I, I, if you look in the top corner up here, I have a little message that pops up on my screen when I was doing the screen recording. So let me just rewind that. Now it's still there. Rewind a little bit more. Okay, so now we've got a good video of that. I'm just gonna uh, grab that and just move that over. So it, it just comes in a little bit in the beginning here. Okay, so since it's on the top now, that's gonna, my, my picture of me is gonna, video of me is gonna disappear and then this is gonna come on top of it. So let's just watch this from the beginning. Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my report on the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly, or simply monarch, is a milkweed butterfly okay, in the family of Nymphandia. I'm still talking. Other common names, the depending playing. on the region, the include... is now playing. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to go put a couple photos down here. Now, let me just remind you, yours is going to look different, because, of course, your B-roll, let's say you're doing uh, a thing on, um, you know, I don't know, someone in the radio... Uh, doing their radio show. So your B-roll is going to be video that you took with the iPad and you got all this video of them, you know, working on their radio show. Maybe you got some close-up of them using their fingers on the trackpad or using their fingers on the DJ thing. You know, your B-roll are all different things. Since this is an example of using monarch butterflies, my B-roll is about, you know, monarch butterflies. Yours could be all this other B-roll you shot with an iPad in the studio. Okay, and of course your A-roll is you talking to the camera. So I'm just going to bring a couple photos down onto my timeline. Again, I bring them, I bring them on top of my timeline, and it puts them right there. Let me go get another one here, and and I'm going to put it here. And it's smart if you put it over one of your breaks, so you can it doesn't show you. Uh, it's called a jump cut when you like over here at the beginning, where I go from one, and you can see a slight little jump in you know how I am. And so I've got that covered up. So now if we watch this, pollinator species. Its wings feature an easily recognizable black, orange, and white pattern. I'm going to make that just a little bit long, so I'm going to drag that one out because everybody wants to see that black, orange, black, and orange, and white pattern with a wingspan of 8.9 to 10.2 centimeters. The viceroy butterfly is similar in color and pattern, but is markedly smaller and has extra. Okay, so I think we're good. So we got we got lots of B-roll. And um, and we're we're looking really good now. Let's just bring in the soundtrack. Let me go here. Let me go back to the beginning and drag that down. And I put the soundtrack underneath. Audio goes underneath. And I know already I'm going to uh, uh, reduce the volume of that soundtrack. So let me just go up here to volume. Turn that down. You know, something down near 20% is what you want it as. 28. Let's try that. Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my report. 
Wow, way too loud, way too loud still. Let's go down to 13%. Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my report on the Monarch Butter. Nope, still too loud. I gotta get that still 7%, 9%. Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my report on the Monarch Butterfly. The Monarch Butterfly, or simply Monarch Okay, I think it's still too loud. We're gonna maybe, you know, you just have to adjust it so you can easily hear your voice over top. Hello, my name is Brad, and this. Okay, that's really good, except it kind of runs out here. Its wings feature in North America and is considered an iconic pollinator species. Its wings feature an easily recognizable. Okay, so there. So uh, I think we've got a final product here. We've got uh, A roll, me talking to the camera. We've got some great B roll adding to the shots up here along the top. There's no volume on those, so we don't hear two things. And then we've added a nice little soundtrack at the beginning that makes for a nice little intro into our, our little segment here on Monarch Butterflies. Uh, the next thing is really just uh, to hit the Projects tab or button up there. we got to get a name. Uh, usually you have something for the show, so it's like Episode, Episode, uh, and it's uh, maybe this is for Episode 8, and it's um, uh, a bio report or something. I don't know. What, whatever you're doing is your assignment. You'd give it the proper name. So you've got that all done. It's here, and now you just need to export it to your desktop. So uh, select it once, come up here to share, uh, go to file, and then um, tell it you want to go to your desktop. So in this case, I'm just going to hit desktop right here. And then I'm going to export that to my desktop. Uh, you do have to wait for this little pie to close. So just up here in the corner, you got to wait for that to happen. So it still hasn't started. Still Okay, there it goes. Now it's starting to export my show uh, to the desktop. But essentially, those are the things I, I wanted you to understand. Uh, number one is you gather all your material together. You go shoot all your B-roll, you shoot your A-roll, you get photos, you get a soundtrack, you do whatever you need to do to get all that organized into one folder. Then you go into iMovie. You bring it into iMovie, and then you edit your pieces. Make sure the volume is good. Remember what I said about volume? Make sure that the audio level is high enough so you're just peeking into the yellow when you talk. That's done. Then you add your B-roll on top, you add your background music underneath, and then you check it all out, and then you export it, and you should be good. And I hope this helps you and makes sense. And good luck, and I can't wait to see what you guys make.